the article that landed John Quelane in hot water. In it, Quelane attacked the Anglican Church for ordaining more gay bishops, labeling homosexuality as wrong. He further insists he will not apologize for his stance. Five years down the line, it's now emerged that Quelane is too sick to stand trial. His doctor says he suffers from a chronic lung disease, diabetes, hypertension and cardiac failure. Mr. Quelane's respiratory system has been progressively deteriorating and he has reached the stage where he, where he cannot get through the day without oxygen supplementation on a continuous and uninterrupted 24-hour-a-day basis. But the Human Rights Commission and the Psychologist Society of Southern Africa believes this is another delaying tactic. There is no basis for Mr. Kolane to say that he refuses to undergo an independent examination. There is absolutely no basis for it. If he is as sick as he claims to be, then he must consent to an independent medical examination. It is an application which, if granted, will mean Mr. Kwelani will never be called to account for his speech. Because it is the view of his doctor on affidavit that his <coughs> condition is worsening. The court, however, held a different view. I am not persuaded that any further and independent medical examination of Mr. Trelane, as suggested in argument, will bring him to the trial today or even in the immediate future. Trelane will have to give an unconditional apology, pay a hundred thousand fine towards gay and lesbian organizations. It's yet another snag in a case that has dragged on for eight years. And it seems it could be some time before Kwelane can take the stand. The opposing parties, though, are intent on appealing the ruling. They'll file for leave to appeal in the next few days. Angwabam Tunu, SAPC News at the South Counting High Court.